We're introducing a new segment tonight, one in which I play a judge. Isn't that frightening? We're calling it The Arbiter. I forgot my gavel. They didn't let me check it on the overhead on United, so I don't have the gavel. I have it back in Washington. But as you can see, we're here in L.A. and currently one of the hottest markets for marijuana. The city's lawmakers recently approved new rules to regulate and legitimize the cannabis industry ahead of January's full legalization of recreational use in the state of California. In tonight's Arbiter segment, attorney Leo Terrell thinks marijuana legalization should be expanded even further than it is. And he joins with me in studio and in D.C., Horace Cooper, the co-chair of Project 21, a black conservative leadership network, takes the opposing view. OK, gentlemen, first Arbiter segment. Don't be nervous now. Oh, I won't. All right, Leo, why should marijuana use be legal and expanded? Your Honor, very simply. The federal rules are outdated. Who's better to know than the states? Let the states decide. And you know what? Marijuana should be decriminalized. It has been. Several states allow it to be used legally for recreational use because it's no longer the boogeyman. It doesn't lead to harder crimes. It's not the situation where marijuana leads to harder crimes or cocaine. I'm submitting to you that the states are in the better position to regulate it, take the criminal element out of it, it is the best for the states to do it, and I know you agree with this. Let's not have Washington in charge of what goes on in every state. Um, today's marijuana is not the marijuana of the Woodstock day. It's a much, much more potent, much more powerful. Um, the THC levels of marijuana smoked uh, uh, you know, all those years ago, about 11 percent weaker on average. And Colorado is reporting 32 percent increase in marijuana-related traffic deaths from 2013 it goes on and on increase in marijuana related hospital stays increase in marijuana related emergency room visits that's what we need more of in america i'm glad you asked i read that same article you know what even though let's deal with those traffic accidents even though they said there was a higher use of people using marijuana they're not saying that the causation of the traffic accidents were caused by marijuana. I read that same exact article. So you think all those things are okay. Oh, Horace, Horace uh, you get your opening statement. It's not about whether it's the federal government or whether the state government. The real question is what's its impact on our local communities? And if you're coming up with a program for making sure that our working class, our communities of color, and many areas in the inner city just get lost because they're left behind because of the baleful effects of marijuana, legalization is the way to do that. Every study shows that you see a decline in academic performance. A larger number of people who participate regularly are showing they are not graduating from high school. We are now in a situation in America where for graduate school, STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, and mechanical, a majority of, the, of those graduates are foreigners because Americans aren't available to step up to the plate. We should not be doing things that have a clear correlation to failure in the academic world, as well as helping people get on the track to self-responsibility and independence. Horace, my follow-up to you is, uh, yeah, the, I think a lot of that is true. However, uh, you know, alcohol causes huge problems. We had prohibition. That didn't work. Uh, so why not try to take the criminal element out of this and legalize it? That way you can have more educational campaigns and get people on the same page. See, this isn't about um, whether or not uh, it is criminalized. The question is this glamorization that's occurring. And that is something I've watched the pot cheerleaders like Leo go around saying what a wonderful thing this is. And our young people, our working class people, people who really need to stay on track. More employers than ever in 2017 are drug testing. What does that mean? You play around with this and you prevent yourself from being able to get that first good job and to earn that opportunity for independence. Uh, he makes an interesting argument about the youth especially. And in the studies now being mm -hmm. done uh, by the psychiatric uh, sources and, and professors, Psychiatric disorders, bipolar disorder, uh, schizophrenia, there is an uh, increasing uh, body of evidence that indicates there is a correlation, especially in the developing mind. So mm -hmm. with all the challenges, Leo, 
we have in this country today, why would increasing the use of marijuana, which it does among young people when you legalize it, why would that be good for society? Forget about the semantic arguments about states' rights versus the federal government. For society, given the medical evidence that is mounting out there. Good question. Public health survey came out in Colorado, the state that you cited earlier, said that even though the, the increased use of marijuana has done what? Reduced the amount of opioid use. That's a significant factor. All the, the, the big issue in this country about opi opioids, the marijuana reduction has made a significant impact on that. And for him to sit there, Laura, and say that he represents 21 states there are people who want this. Oh, big money who, wants it. it. Big oh. weed is how billions yeah, and the billions public, of dollars the are on the public, line. The, the Gallup polls are the, very clear. Right. Oh, yeah. People want this. Yeah. So what's well, wrong with that? We'll see because Colorado is suffering. They're getting a lot of money from the taxes on marijuana, but they're getting a lot of problems too. I'll give you the last word and you can wrap up for us and I'm going to give you my verdict. Uh, the National Institutes for Health has done study after study over the last decade in which they show if you want to achieve lower graduation rates, if you want to achieve lower performance levels on IQ tests, if you want to minimize people's achievement, marijuana is a great way to accomplish that. We are on a global stage where the competition is severe and we need to be getting every single American geared to play their part rather than doing things that distract, particularly in the inner city where we have so many people that are suffering the gaps from the last 10 years of the recession. Why would we add more shackles to people? Why wouldn't we be trying to encourage them? Okay, I say ruling. a campaign for All math. Right. All right, I have to give my ruling now. Please. Both of you did a good job, and if I were a jury, I might be hung right now. But I'm a judge. This is this is a bench trial. It's a bench trial. So uh, please, please. Petitioner Horace. I'm sorry, oh, Horace um, Cooper wins. Horace Cooper wins. It. Sorry. The verdict goes to Horace, but again, if it was a jury, it would be hung. You both did a nice case present presentation. Thank you. Thank you. I tried. Gentlemen, you both did a great Thank job. You. It's a really important topic. There's absolutely no evidence that cannabis is any worse well, I than alcohol. It so why is it illegal and cannabis? Well, I'm and trying to answer, but as soon alcohol? as I answer, you're going to interrupt me and say, no, it's not. What if you say that's not. not true, but then explain why? But that, well, I keep trying to when you keep interrupting. Well, now go I'm going to explain now. So don't interrupt. Um, look, the sole purpose for smoking pot or eating a pot brownie is to get high. That is not true with alcohol. Yes, People it is. enjoy, well, maybe you're a 14 year old They're going to cake parties. Still, everybody drinks alcohol to get slightly higher than when they start drinking it, surely. Um, Support of drinking alcohol. Absolutely. I have done TV after drinks. I bet you you, you have, have to. Are you intoxicated I'm drunk right now. Well, that would explain <laughs> a lot of things. Have you ever smoked no. pot? Wait, I'm, would you please let me finish one sentence, Piers Morgan? You're taking your sort of are, ram, you're rambling. People enjoy wine. They drink wine for a purpose. They will buy $800 bo bottles of wine. Perhaps you have a warm feeling. It does not. You, you, you can tell if somebody's been smoking pot. Their eyes are red. They giggle at everything. And by the way, they're incapable of carrying on the normal function. Have have you life. ever smoked pot? No, I haven't. Never in your Almost life? Almost none of my friends have because they're athletes. So how do you know what it, what it does? Because I'm around potheads. Many of my best really? friends are potheads. How many potheads are you around? And in fact, a lot of them, well, um, look, potheads can still get their pot. They're probably self-medicating. But the more people who take it, and if it is made legal, vastly more people will take it. And it will be a disaster for commerce. Um, Why? I, Why for commerce? Because potheads are incapable of following simple instructions and getting a job done. I used to carry around as my sole argument against pot legalization. But it's like saying alcoholics as I was saying, have a drain on the economy. Um, to pick up in the middle of the sentence I was just on before you well, what interrupted What do you mean by me, pothead? Was um, when I, I moved to a new place in California and there was a pool and the pool guy did and, you know, I come back and it's four feet down and it's color covered with green mold. And I called him up. He was a pothead. Oh, I was there that day. So I took three pictures and henceforth, that was my okay, argument. I don't happen to have let my me try, Let me try and now. stop the stream you of can't consciousness. can't get anything done with a pothead. What we need to what do, do is encourage people. What do you mean by a pothead? Everyone knows what a pothead is. What does it mean? It's not smoking pot one time. Right, so how much are you assuming a pothead takes? Enough, enough so that it can be made fun of on TV by Brad Pitt in this so, movie. So, like a heavy drinker um, or a heavy smoker? 
No, heavy smokers work all night and then die young, saving the Social Security mo system money. We, uh, for commerce, commercial purposes, for the purposes of the good of the country, we ought to encourage Americans to smoke like mad. They'd be incredibly productive, and then they'd die young and not have long, lingering deaths. Potheads, no, I'm going to be paying for their food, housing, um, now for their health care, apparently, because they can't perform any useful job. Can you imagine if, uh, you know, the vast majority of people that, The vast majority of people that take marijuana on a recreational basis are not, by your definition, potheads. The point is In the same way that most people who drink alcohol are not alcoholics or heavy drinkers look, with a problem. Once the cat is out of the bag, you can put it back in. That was the problem. Yeah, but here's the, a problem but the issue is not that. Again, to pick up where I was in the middle of my sentence, but during yeah, prohibition... The issue is not that, is it? The issue during is, prohibition, why do we treat every alcohol-related disease, cirrhosis of the liver, li yeah. liver accidents as a result of alcohol, went down precipitously. It will go up. We will have lot. This is how many potheads we have when it's illegal. Nobody has I think that's just about enough. Let me ask you. Nobody has ever overdosed on cannabis. Did you know that? So what? They can't perform daily functions. They're going to be on my tax bill. But you accept that people die of smoking. You accept that people can overdose on too much alcohol. Well, everybody dies eventually. That's your answer. Uh, no, but to say people die of smoking, what is considered a smoking death is a, is any heart attack is considered a smoking death. The point is that the argument is that alcohol. That's a true fact, by the way. The heavy it consumption someone of who has alcohol, never smoked will be considered a smoking. Heavy death. consumption of alcohol or heavy consumption of cigarettes is more dangerous to your health. No, it is. And alcohol cannabis. is good for you. You take out the category. Have you been reading the Science Times? It's study after study. Alcohol is good for you. You should have a glass a day. We'll or have, two. We'll have a glass after the show. We'll, we'll test or your theory. Or two. No, it's, it's, it's true. Alcohol is good for you. Pot is not good for you. And in fact, it is very cancerous. You, now they're getting these young kids coming in, having heart attacks at very young ages. And it's because they're potheads. Uh, and by the way, at least they'll save me money if they just go ahead and die. But they rarely just go ahead and die. How humane of you.